All right, friends, so in this video, we're gonna talk about um, how to get Allie to miss your pelt tests and nuke the back of your formation. I know I made a video about this before, but it's been a little while, and that was with uh, Chion. So most people don't use Chion anymore. So what we're gonna do is just gonna run into our, um, oh, let me get our Davison form here. All right. So here we have a, um, oops, wow, I hate it when that one, uh, you gotta be carefully forms, it likes to do that. So here is a Davison form, and I have uh, the nuns there in the back and then uh, lots of frost archers and then um, quite uh, dense troops in the back as well with the voodoo dolls. So Ali tends to nuke where the greatest population of troops are and from my understanding. And when where that troop is, she hits on the edge of her nuke, if that makes sense. So if she's trying, if she's hitting someone, say there's a couple stone golems left, she doesn't target the stone golem where it hits right in the middle, where that stone golem's in the middle. She will hit where that stone golem's on the edge, even though she's aiming for that one. And then it'll go towards where the, the next greatest concentration of troops is. Okay, so if that makes sense. So here we go. Here is a Davison form that I use, and we'll see where the uh, nuke drops here. Okay, there it is. So it goes towards the back there and misses most of the Peltas. And that can, it's gonna give you a good chance of uh, surviving if all your Peltas live. Because generally, Allie will move forward and just get murdered by all the Peltas. Now sometimes she'll miss, but as a Davison user, um, a lot of people use Allie's to take out uh, Davison. And this can be quite effective at um, Taken Alley out. So we might not win this one, um, and but it's just going to give you a higher percentage of with your Davisons versus uh, Alleys. And yeah, we got this one now. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with this. So a lot of people um, say, well, well, I want. You know, I like undead soldiers. I'm going to put my undead soldiers back there, right? I can't make that big of a difference, you know? And, and some people will, well, I'll take out, I'll move my Peltas back, you know. And you'll see a lot of this uh, type action here with... Uh, You'll see a lot of forms like this, and they'll put a couple pirate ships up front or something like that. Or maybe they'll do this, and they'll have more pirate ships in the back. Okay, so with this, um, where do you think Allie's gonna hit? Well, I'd call this one kind of a 50-50. We're gonna take out that also and just put in one stone golem. Okay, let's check this one out here. Okay, here comes the nuke. And there you go, takes out my Peltas. And you're wondering, okay, why? Why to hit the Peltas there, right? I'll tell you why. You have a greater concentration of troops towards the front. So these guys run up there, dun, 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 because they're fast and no one's blocking them. So they run up and these guys run up too fast and they add to that concentration of troops up here in the middle and they're all and these guys are all running into a pile and these guys are running into a pile and then your pirate ship throws his boat and that gives you instead of one guy up here it gives you seven okay not only that these only count as one until they throw their troops so um Allie's looking at this not as seven or eight guys she's looking at this as one guy so you had 
with the voodoo dolls prior, you this as nine troops. So if you have pirate ships back there, even though you want some pirate ships back to you know handle business, um, they don't really help with uh, directing Ali's nuke to there. And they can actually hurt you up here because they throw their ship and add to that concentration of troops up here. So what if we pull these out and we're like, okay, those guys, you know, they did too much. So we'll add, we'll add uh, the stone golem or the meteor golems here. All right, here we go. Okay. And what happened there? Same thing. Um, Ali was like, no, the concentration of troops is just greater up there. So we're not going to attack that. Okay, so like, darn it, it's frustrating. I know, guys, you got a good Davis in form. It's going to work good against other things. And you're like, well, crud. Um, how do I stop Ali from nuking my guys? Okay, well, you got to increase that. So a lot of people do. Um, And the Gabakazis work too. So that says like nine, it works as a nine, nine guys back there. So if we increase our um, rear number of guys, so we went from two pirate ships and what else is back there? And the undead soldiers. And we went to this here, this rear uh, line here. And then we can add, um, Well, what can we add in there? We could throw a pirate ship in there if we want, and we actually move that back a little bit. Okay, so let's see how this goes. And this is just trial and error, guys. Um, here we go. And here comes the nuke. Okay, it hits the back formation there. So um, throwing a pirate ship in front of your nuns too in the in the middle there can actually hold back your guys and this is clearly going to give you an advantage over Ali nuking your peltas even though all the time your peltas don't survive um, if she hits your peltas it's probably a very high percent that you're going to lose as if she didn't hit your peltas so this is going to give you uh, Definitely at least a fighting chance, even though we're going to lose this one. Um, it is what it is there. So, so we have that. And then you can say, well, can I add, can I add 10 Peltas in there? Is that possible to have 10 Peltas and get away with it, you know? To which I answer, it's possible. And I think we can pull that off here. So here we go. I think I'll need some pirate ships like that. Um, now this one, it's really difficult to get 10 Peltas and have them not, um, Ali not nuke them. So here we go. Those pirate ships in the middle should keep the nuns back because pirate ships are super slow. And then the nuns should keep everyone else back. So let's see how this one goes down here for us. And there you have it. So notice how there we had a lot of Peltas in there, but there were the nuns in combination with the pirate ships held those guys back and so Ali nuked them. Now, having 10 Peltas doesn't necessarily give you a win obviously this they didn't do as well as the other one so um you're just messing with different troops and seeing how they'll do let's throw in a chion and see how this goes for us here all right so here we go chion freezes everybody interesting um well, Ali nuked the Peltas with that one. So I don't know, you know what? I think it's different with Ali, with Davison and Chion because for the simple fact that uh, Davison's troops 
are, I believe, faster, if I'm not mistaken. Or wait, no, the alley troops are slower. So either way, um, if you slow down Ali's troops, they can't. The push Peltas can't get to get enough push to get you guys back. If that makes sense to take them out. So, so what is the ideal um, back form? Well, it's difficult to say. I've had a lot of success with this particular form, or adding another uh, voodoo back there um, to get Ali to nuke your these guys back here so if you don't have nuns you can use um or frost archers you can use taurus witchers or archers and um you just need to make sure that this back concentration of troops is better than this up here now what can throw that off too is if you're if the alley has a single stone gall up front it's going to obviously concentrate your troops more on her than if she had like three stone golems, okay? So three stone golems up front here, your chion is going, or your, your troops are going to go a little wider. So some are gonna go to here to these stone golem, and these ones are gonna go to this stone golem. Instead, if it was just a single one, they're gonna stack up more. So if that, if that makes sense. So we're gonna take our chion and we're gonna be okay. She hit my peltas, I don't want that to happen. And we want a decent rear attack with Chion. And let's see how this one uh, goes for us here. Okay, so misses my Peltas. Now I know what you're saying, like with all those voodoos up front, is that generally a good idea because With all the voodoos up there, uh, it's a, a thick concentration of troops. But generally speaking, and we got wiped out anyways. But generally speaking, even though this is a thick concentration of troops, these all run up and die before Ali does the nukes. So it's like they'll run up there and, and uh, they'll disappear before Ali registers like, hey, I want to nuke those guys. So they don't really add to your concentration of troops, generally speaking. So um, you guys can uh, mess with that. It takes a lot of tweaking and sometimes, man, you really want to put additional troops in there. Um, some people will have, uh, let's see, yeah, more frost archers, some more frost archers or something like that. And we'll see how this nukes. So this one, remember frost archers are faster than, um, than nuns. And these will tend to run forward. So let's see how this one goes. So they'll tend to run forward more. See how they're running forward past the nuns there? Still managed to miss them. But that one I would call more like kind of a 50-50 there maybe. And but you can mess with it if it if you're having success with some or whatever. But that's generally how to get Allie to nuke where you want her to. Never fails. You make a video and the phone rings and wound up winning that one. Okay, some people put the frost archers back here as well. Um, now, if we take that and we add undead soldiers to the mix here, what's that going to do for us? And generally speaking, the undead soldiers are going to run up quickly, pushing the rest of the troops forward and adding to that bunch. See how they get to the Peltas there? And then your Peltas get taken out. So the, those undead soldiers make it forward into that group and uh, they uh, cause your Peltas to get nailed there. Okay, so undead soldiers, no bueno. Okay, but you're like, okay, well, what if we put the undead soldiers, which are a good troop for Davison, so you want to have them in there. What if we put them in there? Are they going to be able to run through that? So you try it again, throw them in there, and be like, okay, let's see. So they're still trying to push through there. There's a couple breaking through into there, and there you go. Not only do they break through and run into your Peltas, causing them to get hit, 
but they also, I believe, push your frost archers forward as well. Okay, so from my experience, it's really difficult to have undead soldiers back there and they not get your guys uh, nuked. So let's watch the, let's watch the um, voodoo dolls here and see what they do. Okay, so the voodoo dolls, I mean, I guess they kind of run forward, but not as many. And what the heck, they got to make a liar out of me. So the voodoo dolls ran up there and caused me to get hit. But also I was saying this is kind of a 50-50 one because just for the fact of these here will run are faster than nuns. So we're like, dang it. And that's why I don't trust it just once on a, uh, on a trial there. Test it again and be like, okay, those guys ran forward even though we didn't have voodoos in there or undeads and they got me uh, nuked. So let's try it with the nuns. And they miss. And that also can be, uh, watch your pirates. If they throw their ship first, um, it can cause that to add to that troop um, concentration in the front. So pirates can... Even though they're good to have that stun, they can also be, be bad. So see how the difference is when you, when she hits your Peltas and don't. You're, if Davison is, Davison can handle like 50 troops by himself pretty much. So if he's alive towards the end and Ali's not, you pretty much going to win. All right, so once again, let's go. Okay, maybe I can slip some undead soldiers in there this time, right? Maybe let's give that a shot. Here we go. Undead soldier run way up in there, and you guys get nuked. So, and test a form, guys. Test it a couple times, two, three, four times. Um, but I like to get a form where 99% of the time, Allie's missing my pal test in order to have a successful Davison form. Now, a lot of people do also is they'll put. Um, They'll put some orc hunters in there, okay? So this can help get a pushback on Allie and your guys will, will advance further into her, her defense. So this can also cause you uh, to, the nuke to kind of miss your guys. Your, your Peltas can advance a little faster and that might outrun the nuns and stuff and create a better distance. But still, those undead soldiers were up in there in the mix already, and the nuke just kind of takes out everybody. So, All right, guys. Um, so we're like, well, let's pull those guys out, throw in our voodoos, and, and give it a go and see what, what happens now. Okay, misses the Peltas. So the undead soldiers guys can really be uh, a deal breaker for your, um, for your Davison army. Notice how many Peltas we have alive. Ali can still take most of them out, but if you got a good, if you got more troops towards the end, you got a better chance of winning, that's for sure. So um, thanks for watching this. I know I had a tutorial out earlier, but it's, it was kind of outdated since I was using uh, Chion. Speaking of Chion, let's just throw one in there just to see how this one would do as far as where the nuke's going to land. So here we go. Chion's going to freeze everybody. Good separation there. All right, well, dang. Kind of like that. She didn't hit any of my Peltas. And holy cow, did we just make an, an alley destroying Chion form? Hot dang, it just wiped out Allie there. Um, Chion's on fire. She's kind of a beast, though, if she doesn't die. So, hmm, interesting. I'm going to give that another go there. So you can mess with different heroes. If you've got a good form and it works with one, sometimes it'll work with the other one. And... Uh, Dang, some good pushback there with this Chion form. And wow, when you got that many Peltas alive and then coupled with uh, Chion's freeze, can be uh, pretty nasty there. So 
So, anyways, my friends, uh, thanks for watching. Um, it depends too, like you can split up your, oh, let's, I don't know, I haven't messed with this too much, but if you do different um, combinations of guys as well, you know, three stone golems up front, uh, two, the two and the rhino knight or whatever. Let's see how this one goes with the three stone golems up front. Oh, we hit alley. Darn it. We're not supposed to hit alley. That doesn't happen normally. Okay, three stone golems up front tends to slow down your peltas a little bit because there's because there's three and they kind of get in the, the same uh, spot that your peltas are trying to get to. And so when your peltas reach the the enemy stone golem to where they can hit, they tend to back off a little bit and do that. So the three stone golems can actually slow down your peltas, causing them to um, take damage. But it's all it's all like experimentation at this point and, and what, what works. But I find that the five nuns um, work well. Uh, no undead soldiers. And if you guys still having trouble, um, say you don't have this many nuns or you have some witchcraft totems right here instead of, of, of whatever, uh, throw a couple pirate ships in front of those like on this, on the, uh, on the fourth row here. And that'll keep, um, that'll keep those uh, guys from running forward as fast because the pirate ships are super slow. So um, it's kind of good. So I uh, hope this helps. Yeah, you can just like throw those guys back there. Sometimes I do like three and they'll pull back. They only count as one troop, so they're not really adding to this density up here. And they're super slow, so they're holding these guys back. Um, let's actually do, let's see if I can make a demonstration real quick. I know this video is kind of dragging on, but I just wanted to share um, this intel real quick with you guys. All right, so we didn't have the nuns. We had, you know, uh, let, you know, actually, let's just go with the, uh, Horse witchers and see how that goes. Those are generally faster than frost, frost archers. So here we go. Those the pirate ships are real slow and they're holding them back. Um, dang it, stop hitting Allie Davison. You, I'm like, where's the nuke at? Well, let's try it again. Normally Davison will not hit at Allie because of all the uh, guys there, but Davison has been weird in where he's nuking. So it's hits the rear and you notice there wasn't a lot of separation between the two groups so that's why some of my peltas got hit because i had the three stone golems up there but you see what i'm talking about you can throw a couple of pirate ships in front that is going to slow your guys down and give you a little bit more breathing room so all right guys well i hope this is helpful and i know i had one out there before to update a little bit i know it kind of dragged on a little bit but i was a lot of people struggle with Ali uh, nuking your troops all the time, and if you if she hits your Peltas, you're probably going to lose. And I talk about this a lot. I just didn't really make an updated video on it. So, uh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys. If you're on your Davy forms or whatever you're working versus Ali, it can be a good thing. You guys have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Please like and subscribe.